Hey guys, let's not waste any time and get right into the tutorial. The first thing that I'm doing is using a black eyeliner pencil to sketch the outlines around the mouth, nose, and also the wrinkles around my eyes and forehead. I also plan on adding a harsh cheek contour around the smile, so I'm placing guidelines for that too. Using NYX SFX Cream Color, I'm filling everything in. The outlines will still show through the white face paint and help me when I add back all of the details later on. For this look and every other SFX look that I do, I have specific brushes that I have set aside for face paint because the face paint can stain them and sort of ruin your regular brushes. And now I'm going in with a cheap beauty sponge to blend in the white. Just like the brushes, I only use this sponge for SFX, so don't go using your regular beauty blender because you could ruin it. Here I'm just using my finger to smudge some black cream face paint onto my eyelids and then using a black eyeliner pencil to darken my lower lash line. Then I'm blending the black out into the white using a fluffy brush. Once it's all blended, I'm going back in and highlighting my brow bone with white. I'm doing this to accentuate my brow bone because I want my eyebrows to be as arched as possible to give the illusion of anger. I'm going in with black eyeshadow from Kiss Cosmetics and using it to fill in my brows. Again, I'm really trying to arch my brows as much as possible so that they are very curved in the middle and go downwards towards the front to make them appear furrowed. To achieve this look, I'm going back and forth between white face paint and black shadow to shape them. Here I'm just quickly setting all the white face paint with RMCA No Color Powder before I go in with more black eyeshadow. First, I'm setting and darkening my smudged out eyes. I want them to look super messy, so I'm sort of smudging them more downwards as I go farther out towards the edge of my eyes. With a small fluffy brush, I'm building black shadow where I planned to put the wrinkles like above my eyebrow, in between my eyebrows, and on my forehead. On top of the blended shadow, I'm using liquid black face paint to sharpen and define the wrinkles. The liquid face paint that I'm using is Mayron, by the way, but all of the cream colors are from NYX. With white liquid face paint, I'm highlighting the areas in between the wrinkles to create more dimension and enhance the illusion. So I'm working my way down the face and using the same technique for my under eye wrinkles. First going in with some black eyeshadow to shade them and then black face paint to define them. I also ended up adding some extra shadow in between the brows to accentuate the illusion of anger. I decided to go ahead and move on to shading my nose before I realized that I had to go back and add some white face paint to highlight my eye bags. Mm -hmm. 
Now I'm just going back in to shade my nose using the black shadow to contour my nose and darken the area around the tip of my nose. Now I'm going in and contouring, deepening the cheekbones with black eyeshadow and extending it to frame the mouth that I have planned on my face. Make sure to have a quick little dance party before we get into the hard part. The mouth is definitely the most difficult, it took me a couple tries to get it right, but to get started on my first attempt, I'm just filling it in with white face paint. For now, to get started on the lips, I'm just filling them in with some red face paint. Before adding some more detail to the lips, I'm using black shadow and face paint to create the wrinkles around the corners of the mouth. I'm loosely connecting those wrinkles to the nose area to make the illusion cohesive. To add some shading to the lips, I'm outlining them with black and then blending it into the red. I'm also adding some other details to make the lips a little bit more realistic. I'm using red and black face paint to add some uneven lines um, to create the illusion of texture. I blended a little bit of red shadow around the corners and edges of the mouth to make it less crisp looking, and then I went in with white and added some highlight to the surrounding areas of the mouth. Alright, so now we get to the really hard part of the tutorial, which I guess is a little bit easier if you know how to do it before going into it. At first, I tried to draw the teeth in, but then I realized it wouldn't work unless the crease of my lips aligned with the space between the top and bottom rows of teeth. So I scratched a couple designs and made it so that the top and bottom teeth went along my top and bottom lips. I'm using black face paint to outline the teeth and then going in with an off-white face paint that I mixed together to create a realistic color. I realized that there was too much space for the bottom teeth. I would have had to create them um, to be a little bit freakishly long, like longer than the um, top teeth, or I would have had to, you know, draw in some gums or something, and I thought both of those options would look weird, so I decided to wipe off the bottom lip and redo it a little bit higher up. This is something that I wish that I had planned earlier in the look when I was like doing the guidelines and the outlining. Um, so if you're doing something like this or trying to follow along, I advise you to plan as thoroughly as possible. To finish off the teeth, I added some deeper shadows to the areas surrounding them and then I used white face paint to highlight them. I added a little dimple below the mouth before I moved on to the nose. First I used red face paint, then I set it with a translucent powder. I then went back in and defined the edge with some black eyeshadow and face paint. For the nose highlight, I just dabbed on some white face paint around the tip. Now I'm pretty much done, I just had to add some finishing touches like eyeliner and mascara. I also added white face paint to my neck area and used a black shadow around my jawline.
To make this look extra creepy, I added contacts from crazylenses.com and fake blood, and that's it. I really hope you guys love this look. I really enjoyed creating the tutorial for you. If you recreate this or any one of my other looks, please tag me on your various social medias, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. I love, love, love seeing your guys' creations. It makes me so happy. Um, also, be sure to leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Like the video, and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in my next video.